Joseph Ojo live in Annapolis this morning, breaking down what that means, and he shows us how things are looking at the state house. Joseph. Good morning, Sarah. Well, since the FBI warned of armed protests in all 50 capitals, security has been beefed up here in Annapolis. And just take a look right behind me. We haven't seen any crowds forming yet, and it's very quiet right now. But if you take a look at every side of the state house, this is what you will see. Law enforcement securing the area in the event that things pick up here. This extra layer of security is seen at the state house is in response to the, the attack on the Capitol in Washington, D.C. earlier this month. While officials here in Annapolis are taking every threat seriously, the governor has said the more pressing issue is the threat for violence in Washington. That's why he is sending 1,000 members of the Maryland National Guard to D.C. The declaration of a state of emergency allows Maryland more to more efficiently provide resources to jurisdictions that need them in the case of any violence. Governor Hogan is asking for a presidential disaster declaration to help pay for all the help Maryland is sending to D.C. He is also strongly urging anyone against coming to the state house armed, saying, quote, I think they would reg regret that. The governor stresses there are no specific threats of violence here in Annapolis, but if anyone sees anything suspicious, law enforcement is asking you to give them a call. Live here in Annapolis this morning, Joseph Ojo, Fox 45 Morning News.